Hey there, welcome back to another episode of JRC TV. This week we're gonna be focused on three specific things that can almost instantly improve your ability to get more done in shorter periods of time. We're wrapping up summer, we're headed back to school, to work, to the office, to whatever it is that you're gonna be focused on as we change seasons here. And as we do this, we wanna give you some productivity tips to really make sure you're absolutely maximizing every moment of every day. So to start, tip number one is the difference between single focus activity and multitasking, or in actuality, switch tasking. Well, let me tell you what this means. My good friend Dave Crenshaw wrote a book called The Myth of Multitasking. He wrote about how the fact that multitasking is actually a lie. It doesn't exist. If you Google it or look it up in the dictionary, the word multitasking literally means the illusion that a CPU is doing more than one thing at a time. Now it's an illusion because in actuality what it's doing is switch tasking. It's going back and forth really fast between multiple activities to look as if it's doing two things at once. Now for any of you listening who actually have your MBA, you might remember a term called switching cost. What is that? It's the cost of time, money, and effort you lose in transition between switching suppliers of any supply you do business with. Now the same thing occurs when you take your attention from one thing to the next. Now I'm not gonna go much further in today's episode, but I'll tell you in today's download, we go a little bit more into explaining exactly how this affects your business, how much money it costs you, how much time it costs you, it's amazing. Make sure to get the download and do the exercise to show you how much more effective you can be focusing on one thing at a time. So that's number one. Number two, the next thing is how do you prioritize what to focus on? So you've decided you're gonna focus, but what do you focus on? How do you know what to do first, second, third, fourth, and fifth? The simplest way we've ran across over the years is simply by going through everything you have to do. So you do a simple brain dump. Take out a pen and paper, you write down everything you can think of that you wanna get accomplished. And then you go through those and say, okay, which one of these are absolute high priority, meaning they need to get done right now. They are urgent and important, meaning they have to happen. Those are, uh, let's say, an A priority. Then you go through and say, okay, which one of these things are important but not yet urgent, meaning they're very important to get done, but they don't have to get done now. So let's say those are B categories. You go through and look for all the Bs, then continue to go to C. Which one of these things are not important and not urgent? <laughs> Obviously, we will not start with category number C. Category A, we'll burn through as fast as we can. Category B, we'll start to plan in advance to see if we can take advantage of getting ahead of ourselves schedule-wise to make sure we get the most out of every day. Now. We've decided to be focused. We know what to focus on. The third step, how do you make other people agree with your calendar? Now this one's tricky, especially if you have kids or a husband or wife or someone else who your schedule has to kind of coincide with theirs. So how do we do that? Well, let me explain in this final step. It's simple. You have to take time to plan together. Each week, ideally on a Sunday night or Saturday, depending on what day you use, you want to sit down and plan out the entire week together. You wanna look for what meetings are those A-level meetings. They have to happen. You have to get these things done. They're urgent and important. Schedule all of those in. Now, which B activities do you really, 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 really wanna get in that week? Schedule those in. Then, if you have some extra time where you can see little gaps of time that exist, take time as a couple or as a team to schedule in those C activities. Now, make it your responsibility to hold each other accountable to really staying on track. So you're staying focused, you're being productive on what really matters, and you're doing it as a team, even better. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. There's a couple more tips in the download, so make sure to go to our blog, grab a copy of that download, and apply it. We hope you enjoy this process, and if you know someone who needs some extra assistance in their time management skills, make sure to share this episode with them. Well, until we see you next week, we hope you have an amazing week. See you soon, bye.